Hello my junior friends, my name is Natasha Coonrod and I'm the Girl Experience Facilitator for Girl Scouts of Central California South. So today you are going to be doing exploring outdoor art. You can find inspiration everywhere you look when you are outside. Let nature be your inspiration as you explore, create, and design different kinds of art. During this Outdoor Art Explorer, you will be completing two steps in the Girl Scouts Love the Outdoors Challenge. This is a challenge where girls can fall in love with the outdoors safely while still practicing social distancing. Girl Scouts Love the Outdoors Challenge is helping us gear up for our Girl Scouts Love State Parks, which will be the weekend of September 12th and 13th. And I apologize because there is noise in the background. I live on a busy street and I'm in an apartment complex. So, based on your grade level, my junior friends, you will need to complete 30 steps in order to receive the Girl Scouts Love the Outdoors Challenge patch. You can find the list on our Girl Scout website at www.girlscoutsccs.org under the Girl Experience tab. Be on the lookout as the Girl Experience Department will also be posting short and snappy videos and workshops for the other steps you could complete. Once you've completed the Outdoor Art Explorer, you've completed one activity from Girl Scouts Love the Outdoors Challenge. I will let you know what other activity qualifies as an activity for the Girl Scouts Love the Outdoor Challenge. Safety tips. Remember when we are exploring art in the outdoor, remember safety. Make sure you always have an adult with you. Make sure you dress the part and don't forget to put on sunblock if it's sunny outside. Wear the appropriate pro Proper clothing for the weather. Make sure whenever you travel, you pack for safety, bringing a reusable water bottle, first aid kit, whistle, flashlight with batteries, and anything else that you may think you need for this adventure. Make sure that your adult brings their cell phone just in case they need to call for help. Make sure you pay attention to where you walk. Keep an eye out for signs, especially if you are hiking on a trail that goes in different directions. So the first thing that you're gonna do in this outdoor art explorer is begin by taking, so if you live in an apartment complex, just like I do, you're gonna be taking a walk around your neighborhood. So finding the trees, the grass, the any bushes you can see along the way. Um, what you're gonna be doing is you're gonna be studying how the plants look different. How, do e how does each leaf look different from the bush that's next to you. How do the flowers, petals are different? Point out examples of symmetry, colors, and lines. For example, leaves are mostly symmetrical or can be folded in half and, and are even on both sides. Look and find your own example of art in the outdoors. Now it's time to create your masterpiece. It can be a painting, a sculpture, or a collage. You need to include a whole new kind of wildlife that could be live in your surroundings. So, your first activity is to create a masterpiece with canvas, paint, clay, whatever you want to do using art supplies that inspired you, that you were inspired by the art, the art found in outdoors. So, I actually have... Okay, so I apologize, girls, but I had to move inside. It was too noisy out there. You couldn't hear me talk about the supplies that you need for your masterpiece. So what my daughter decided to do is she wanted to paint on a canvas. So you can see that I have a canvas, some paint brushes, she's got her plate, and she's got her paint. So we took a walk around our neighborhood, and we ended up finding a house that actually has a bunch of roses. So she got inspired by roses and wanted to paint them. And she incorporated some water to it, um, you know, them just being around. So that's what, how she was inspired for nature and what she found in the outdoor setting. So let's see, hopefully, Let's see what your guys' masterpieces are going to be. Are they going to be on a canvas? Is it going to be a sculpture? Um, what else can you guys think of? So 
So then, so the next activity you'll be doing is you're gonna go and take a walk and listen to the nature. You're gonna listen to the sounds that you hear. Can you hear a bird? Can you hear the wind blowing against the leaves? But when you do this, go on it silently, so you need to be very quiet. And if you hear noises or sounds, then go ahead and point with your adult in the direction of where you're going. And then can you mimic those sounds? Can you make the whistling of a bird? You know, can you make the wind blowing against the leaves? So that's your next activity that you'll be doing. I'm gonna look at my notes. <laughs> So then after that, you're going to be a nature photographer. So in an outdoor space that you love, go ahead and take a photograph it at different times of the day. How does the light change the photo? What happens to the shadow? Which photo is your favorite and why? For more fun, take pictures of your favorite area during different weather settings. So. The, how does it look like when it's in the fall? How does it look like when it's in spring? When it's summer? When it's winter? How does it look differently? So the next one, that activity we're going to be doing is design with nature. So you're going to be building. So the next activity you're going to be doing is you're going to be designing with nature. You're going to be building a house for our flying friends. The houses aren't just useful but can be works of art too. Design a bird, bat, or owl house that will become a shelter. You can use all types of supplies to make your masterpiece. I made mine out of popsicle sticks, glue, and string, but you can use whatever your imagination comes up with. Once you've completed this step, you will have completed one activity from Girls Love the Outdoors Challenge. Remember, once you completed the Outdoor Art Explorer, all of the badge steps, that's one of the activities in the Girls Love the Outdoors Challenge. The other step, my junior friends, that you would complete is by constructing the bird house, bat house, or owl house. So those are two steps that you have completed already. And to earn more of those 30 steps that you need, please visit our website page and you can go under the Girl Experience tab and you can find the Girls Love Outdoors Challenge Patch Program and you'll see all the lists there that you need to, all the steps that you can complete and get your patch. So with my birdhouse, I made it out of popsicle sticks, like I said, and some glue and some twine, but I also have actually some lines from our law on the house itself. So you can see the different lines. So what is your guys' birdhouse at Bat Owl House look like? So thank you for watching the Junior Outdoor Art Explorer. Those are all of the steps that you need to complete. Remember, you need to visit the Girl Scout website in order to complete step two. If you would like to purchase the badge set, you can go ahead and find it at the Girl Scout store, and that's available online. Thank you for